This video will show you how to control your dreams tonight without any previous experience, using a powerful technique that will not cause you to lose any sleep. All you need is a few minutes before bedtime to follow these steps, and that's literally all there is to it. In a lucid dream, whatever you think of becomes reality. You can fly, teleport, spawn people, create things out of thin air, but first, you gotta enter the lucid dream. And that's what this video is gonna show you how to do. This is by far the best technique I would recommend to any new beginner. I know I've said this before, but this method is seriously powerful. Not only will it allow you to experience lucid dreaming for yourself, possibly tonight, but it will also lay down the foundation for you to master this skill, so you can control your dreams every single night. First, I'm gonna show you the exact steps to doing this technique tonight. Then, I'm gonna give you three important tips to keep in mind while using this, otherwise it may not work. Anyways, let's get started. The preparation for this technique is really simple. It only takes a few minutes to set up your room and give yourself the best chances of lucid dreaming tonight. First, turn off your lights and get rid of any distracting noises, preparing yourself to go to sleep. For the best results, you need to fall asleep quickly with a focused mind, so it's important to get rid of any thoughts that are in the way. Sit on your bed, close your eyes, and meditate for one to three minutes. It's pretty easy. Just imagine all your problems drifting away. The only thing that matters now is getting a good night's rest. Everything else can wait. One more thing, if you keep a dream journal, that is, a place where you write down your dreams in the morning, this will improve your chances of this working. If you don't, it's no big deal, although if you're planning on mastering lucid dreaming, it is something you should look into. Alright, so now you're in bed, ready to attempt the technique. First, you need to think about how long it takes you to fall asleep. If it's under 10 minutes, you should start by doing this sitting up, and then lie down near the end, so you complete the full technique without accidentally drifting off. If it takes you more than 10 minutes to fall asleep, you can do this lying down. This method follows a simple three-step process. Here is what to do. Close your eyes and try to remember the dream you had last night in as much detail as you can. If you can't remember it, think of any other dream you had, it doesn't matter how long ago it was, as long as it is vivid and you can actually picture it in your mind. You can also create an imaginary environment from a movie or something. I recommend using a dream, as I've had most success this way, but creating your own scene will work too. Imagine yourself walking around in this environment and interacting with things around you. Engage all your senses, like sight, sound, and touch, because this will ground you in this new world. Next, you want to pretend that you become lucid, and aware that what's around you isn't real, and you can control anything you want. Wherever you are, start going around and doing cool things. Give yourself superpowers. Start flying, teleporting, spawning people, really whatever you want. Try to convince your mind that you are in a lucid dream. The more you believe it, the better this technique will work. Finally, you want to tell yourself that in a few minutes, you will be dreaming again. Think about yourself entering that new dream, realizing it's a dream and becoming lucid, and doing whatever you want, just like the world you're in now. For that dream, you can create any kind of environment you'd like, or you can choose a previous dream like you did before. This is helpful if you want to re-enter a dream you've had previously. It doesn't always work, but this is one of the best ways to do it. And yeah, keep thinking about being aware and controlling this dream scene until you drift off to sleep. You want lucid dreaming to be the last thought on your mind. If that happens, you have a real shot at controlling your dreams tonight. Now I'm gonna give you three important tips you need to know in order for this to work properly and be more effective. Visualization is the core part of this technique, and it's completely fine if that's all you do. However, you can combine the visualization with a mantra, which is basically a short phrase you repeat to yourself over and over as you fall asleep. Some phrases you can pick are the following. I will lucid dream tonight. I am dreaming. 
This is a dream. I will wake up in a dream. Soon I will be dreaming. I will have lucid dreams tonight. Keep it short and simple. Don't say something like, I will not fail to lucid dream tonight, or your mind will become confused and it might be mistaken for, I will fail to lucid dream tonight, which would not be good. If you repeat the phrase over and over while falling asleep, your brain will think that it's important, and when you enter the next dream, it will still be on your mind, causing you to become lucid. Now if you want to give this technique a real boost and raise the chances of it working, here is a powerful trick. Set an alarm to wake up in the middle of the night, around 4-6 to six hours after you fall asleep. From here, go back to sleep using this technique and there will be better odds of it working. The reason why is because when you sleep, you will enter a dream quicker than before, possibly right away and your thoughts will have a much better chance of carrying over into that dream and causing you to become aware that it is a dream. This method is pretty simple, but it can be powerful once mastered. Anyone can learn to do this if they put in the time to practice. Lucid dreaming is not always something that happens on the very first night. Sooner or later, it will work. It's just that for whatever reason, it takes longer for some people, which is why it's important to never give up and try it for at least a few weeks. One major benefit of this technique is that you can combine it with others. So even if these other methods don't work for you, there's always the guarantee of getting lucid eventually from this one. If you want to learn other techniques, I have tons of videos on this channel where I cover all of the major ones, so definitely go ahead and check them out if you're interested. This visualization practice that I just taught you can also be done during the day. Although you can't enter a dream in, say, the afternoon, it will help increase your familiarity with the technique so that when you do try it tonight, you will know exactly what to do. But yeah, that's about it. This method is extremely powerful if done correctly. If you want a lucid dream, I recommend writing down all these steps and trying them tonight. If you have any questions, you can always come back and watch the video again, or ask them in the comments and someone will help you out. I also have a Discord server. It's the biggest lucid dreaming server in the world. By the time this video is being made, we almost have 7,000 members. But yeah, it's full of lucid dreamers who would love to help you out, so come join. The link is down below in the description. And of course, if you enjoyed this video, smash like and subscribe to let me know. I make lucid dreaming tutorials all the time. If you're interested in mastering this skill and controlling your dreams whenever you want, make sure you subscribe so that you don't miss when a new video comes out. That's it for today. Good night and good luck.